dark veil of the night passed, as Hermetheus stood up and reflected upon the vivid dreams of the past few hours. The fire has sparked inside him, and the heavenly chants of Akatosh's hymn still echoed in his mind, a mind that has just found peace from the torment of the past. The usual nightmares of his wife, getting bitten by an undead, the collage of flashbacks of her turning slowly into a zombie, the countless prayers issued to Akatosh to spare her life, the ritual to share his own life force with his wife, which left his hair and eyes bleached in a snow-white tone, and finally, the act of salvation when Hermetheus needed to end her suffering before the alteration was completed. All this seemed long ago, like distant memories in the past. A painting with fading colors at best, since he had found refuge in the cloister of Stender's devout followers. But this morning was different. The dreams awoke in the fire inside of the young man, one that he hasn't felt in a while. His disengagement with the past faded and made room for something new a zealous, burning desire to cleanse the undead scum from the face of the earth. Hermetheus jumped out of the bed, got dressed, and his hand firmly surrounded the grip of his steel mace. Finally, a steady smile rushed over the face of the dark elf. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken, and today we're continuing a permadeath run with Hermetheus, follower of Akatosh. This is going to be the 3BF uh, version, uh, just like the other two Diaries of Death. We are following the story of another devout follower in Skyrim, and this time I've uh, gotten a new interesting build for you that uh, plays completely different than Ron the Snake in the, la in the last episode. So, we're going to run as a Dunmar, a Dark Elf, but one with a rather sad past that uh, brought him on the path of vengeance and destruction against undeads. Hermetheus uh, is currently starting with uh, the Stendar uh, start, where we are in the Cloister of Stendar. Let's put up his apprentice hood here. We're starting with the typical starting equipment, amulet of Stendor, apprentice hood, uh, apprentice robe of restoration, and a few heavy armor items, steel boots, steel gauntlets, and a few potions. That's really it. Like, that's the entirety of his equipment. Let's talk about the build real quick. So, as a... Uh, selection for this time I have actually selected uh, the Divine of Akatosh. Akatosh is an interesting case because Akatosh uh, since we're following him devoutly forbids you to do necromancy, forbids you to do quite a few other things, no vampirism, no um, lycanthropy, but it allows you in return to take less damage from Undeads, I think it's minus 15% flat. Then secondly, the more undeads we're killing, the better our magic resistance are going to be. And on top of that, if we are killing Potima, which is the goddess of undead, or the Daedra of undead, um, really, if we could uh, do that, we would get uh, the ability to recharge all of our weapons uh, with uh, by killing undead. It's almost like the, uh, the Mace of Morlock Bull, uh, where there's an auto recharge. In return, though, we can't use soul gems because uh, uh, th uh, that is really nothing that Akatosh would uh, really like. So that's kind of what our divine does as a uh, standing stone or birth sign, how it is called in uh, Requiem 3BF Tweaks. We have gone with a Lord Stone, and the Lord Stone is generally magic resist, um, a little bit stamina regeneration, and since it was very, very strong in the classical Requiem, potentially the strongest uh, single stone, 
it has been nerfed and you take a quite substantial hit on fire resistance. I think minus 40%, minus 25 or minus 40%. You can see though on the left hand side of the screen that we're starting with 15 magic resistance. That's great, that's from the stone. We still have 25 fire resistance because I've chosen Dunmer as to be the um, potentially right class for that build in the stone um, since their natural fire resistance really um, outshines that. And the 15 frost resistance comes from Akatosh as well. So we're highly resistant against um, many, many magical items actually. We're not so resistant against other items with 160 armor really not taking a lot of reduction on physical hits so what we're going to do with this build is it's going to be a classic paladin i really like the idea of one hand fighting blocking heavy armor and uh, on top of that we're going with uh, restoration magic and alteration magic so that's the core theme of the whole uh, thing here i was also thinking about maybe getting a bit into smithing later down the line uh, since that would allow us to get even heavier armor uh, we definitely in this playthrough will be focusing on fighting a lot of undead uh, because that is really what hermetheus is about and as always, we want to make sure that we're, we play it safe because every single misstep could mean the end of uh, the run. Now, as for the target of this quote-unquote tier uh, 1 uh, run, um, as always, I want to kind of end at 20-ish level um, if we make it that far. And the goal would be to do the Wolf Queen questline, that is Pythemia's reawakening, where necromancers are trying to summon her. That is, of course, something that Hermetheus cannot accept. Uh, so that would be Akatosh's uh, reference quest lines. With that out of the way, really, uh, let's uh, look through the things here uh, at uh, the camp. We have a couple of items that are relatively valuable, which we could use. Steel Maze of Draining, I would say thank you, my dude. Magicka, fantastic. Uh, we can leave that here. I trade my Rubbish Maze for your Steel Maze of Draining. And we'll take a couple of uh, easy items. This here will be for Stamina Regeneration. Uh, there we go. The suffering the Daedra cause will not go unpunished. Your potions. A bit of boot. And that should be really it, unless I'm forgetting something. Let's hotkey what we are needing. Uh, potions, yes, yes, yes. Um. <coughs> I will still select what kind of spell we're going to, what kind of spell we're going, uh, what kind of shout we're going to take. Uh, there, this is not the Dragonborn, but as always, I would allow uh, him one shout. Potentially some drain that might make sense. As a Danmar, uh, if you don't know it, uh, we do have an inherent ward. That inherent ward costs stamina instead of magicka, so that'll be great. Although our stamina regeneration might be a bit of a problem. Let's try to find uh, heavier armor and uh, let's explore the world. After leaving the safe heavens of Stendar, it is time for. A long journey, one which is dangerous and filled with bandits. <clears throat> the first of which are right here. All right. Come on.
carefully luring them into the wilderness just to run blindly into a power attack that was stupid That indeed takes care of that. First bandit down. Well, water, heavy armor, and a hide helmet. Moving over to a more heavy armor focused build. That could prevent us from getting one shot, but we're also regenerating stamina much, much slower. At the beginning, it is vital to separate uh, the enemies. Fortunately, the dangerous ones, the archers, are still fully intact. Brother of Stendar is coming to our aid. Well, ain't that a help? And that's a proper shield right there. Thank you, brother, for the assistance. Much appreciated. Coming a stare down. But thankfully, we even got a ranged weapon out of this. We got a wooden crossbow. Better than nothing, I would say. Oh, such colors. Thank you. Well, we're having a bit of help here. This one time. <clears throat> you win. I submit. What is wrong, sister? Are you prepared to die? Well, you certainly got the final killing blow here. Well done. Proper hunting bow, as well as fine equipment.
Well, we are out of combat. Well, let's regain our uh, stamina. Time to end this little game. Sister of Sendar, I think I'll need your help again. Regaining stamina out of combat. Good idea. So it seems we're not strong enough for uh, the inside yet. We can't really kite there. And I don't want to risk anything. Not that early in the run. We did get a decent upgrade. Some healing supplies. So let's pack up and move on. On our way forward, we discovered Silver Drift Lair, another bandit location of sorts. Akatosh certainly wouldn't approve to these methods. It's the local scum here attacked us, so we need to defend ourselves. Let's hot key uh, this. Claws for some stamina regeneration. Definitely our weak spot here. Careful behind the tree. We're out of combat. So Nope, we're not out of combat. Just getting jumpy, I guess. Let me fast forward that. We're waiting here, the archer, slowly but surely, comes closer. We can't even power attack. It is simply not working. Uh, way too much. Way too much uh, 
stamina that is being drained. All right. Since we cleansed the two bandits, we might as well go in and loot whatever is available. I don't feel that we need to necessarily go inside. That would likely get us killed. Let's move on. Evening drew near and the wind was bitter as Hermetheus finally made his way all the way to the legendary city of Windhelm. Once he arrived, talked to the local sailors and invested some of his money to explore the legendary island of Solstead. Once we arrived in the harbor, it is time to clarify a few things. We're running there and getting a set of armor. Might as well get rid of our current belongings. A task that is better accomplished during the day. At one in the afternoon, the blacksmith finally showed up. I seen Koresh's Kore no, no, they don't exactly grow on tree. Um, I look, if you see Koresh's, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Find my pickaxe yet? You My tell Crushes he better give Glover Mallory's the looking Show me what you got for sale, thank damage. you. Bone mail is what we're going to get soon. I think we can do better than just the bowls. Silver Battle Axe would be an option, but I don't think that we need that right now. Instead, let's sell what we have. A few valuables. You tell Crushes he better give that pickaxe back you to me. Might ah, so you're an alchemist then. And it seems to me that your prices are stiff, even Remember, I have plenty of for standards of Requiem. Well, for now, we are simply trying to run and get to the armor that we want and back. So... This is how you get a full set of bone scale armor for free. We just got to be fast enough. As our captain here isn't doing particularly well. Might as well use the bone shield. And an elven mace looks tempting. Very tempting indeed. Hundred fifty one hundred fifty six, but the weight is much higher. I like the look though. I like the look a lot. But we are overweight. So. 
So let's get rid of whatever else we need to get rid of. That is that. We're being followed, but we do have guards here. God said, hopefully, he can stand up to the battle. Didn't want to instigate a full fledged fight. Just a single one. Okay, I'm sure we're finding some guards who can take this thing down. There we go. I don't want to fight it with fire magic, I can tell you that much. Ash spawn has taken no damage whatsoever. Suffice to say that the Ash Spawn is quite powerful. Maybe this time with combined forces, they get it down. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that was fun. We do have bone mold armor. So where do you hail from? So we're blending right in. With solid 700 points of armor. Fortunately for us also, that means we don't have a, a lot of carry weight, but we'll deal with that. First, Hermetheus needs to make it back to Windhelm. To help the storm cloaks. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight for a spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Fantastic. We arrived in Windhelm. We always offer nothing new there. Most of he likes to get drunk and walk around the great some of it. And it isn't, in fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Prometheus immediately felt a bit alienated in this uh, environment. But his task needed to be done. He needed to find out more about the strange undeads in these lands and how to control them and what better way 
of asking the Jarl for advice. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulf, the Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Yeah. Well, before we're allowed to talk to the Jarl, apparently, Prometheus was told to go to Traitor's Post and solve an issue with a few bandits. In the meantime, there is more to do in this city. Much more. Duchess talking to Ngul War Anvil, who's the local smith, and has just told us that he's missing a sword to be found in Kronvagar's cave. It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing Boss to help. Boss It's buried with its maker, Kuralnil, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kuralnil was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach its resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, don't, don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. Good. Started the white fi uh, file, which is a super helpful alchemist like myself it which is, is a super helpful um, item for us in a dead dead run poetry my master can be a bit short tempered but i've learned so much from him until Good. next time standing around that's three concrete tasks right there but before we do any of that we've made our way to good old rift and into the sewer system because it is time to get a ring for us slight concern that the armor might be just a tad too heavy for us That's your bet, huh? yeah, we're not taking a lot of damage but we're equally not dealing a lot either. No more. I yield. I yield. The armor is highly protective, but we need to fix our stamina management. We need to even stand still in order to get some stamina back. And we already have the new mace in hand. One that swings fast for just a low amount of stamina. Yeah, glass arrows, they hurt. We have no food left. These guys don't have uh, any either. Well, I guess we gotta wait a bit. I'll take that just to regain some stamina. Out of combat, that is. We're not playing an alchemist, although there are a couple of really nice alchemical items here. I want full stamina for the next course. That is helpful. And I suppose I really need to take a lot of food now because we're continuously running out of stamina. Is it a good ring? 
No, we... The RNG was not very good. We unfortunately got the lowest stamina regeneration possible on the ring. Yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes you just can't change it. I think the trap killed her. Will help us to level up. He definitely can use a couple of stats. And before we get any further, I think there was something else that I wanted to test out right in the Thieves Guild. So moving through the Thieves Guild, if my memory served me well, there are a couple of riches down here. And the way we could do that uh, the more easy way is there you are. Yeah. Come back here. getting some help from our friends. guys for opening uh, not sure if I'm welcome in the thief skill sanctuary certainly don't want to steal from anyone here the red way walls on the other hand Very nice. Well, we need to eat the entire time just to get our stamina back. So if I remember well, there were quite a few chests down here, which is what I'm trying to find. We do not have any form of lock picking, and we're not healthy enough to break these things open. Might come back to it a bit later. Just double checking. Warrior skills, heavy armor. Starts all the way down at five. Yeah, that'll take a while. That, on the other hand, could turn out to be good. Increase carrying capacity. It's not too bad. Might even uh, keep them, although they weighed 6. 58. Hmm. Could also disenchant them just to get the enchantment, which isn't bad either. It's actually a decent find.
as for heavy armor, I think we're going too heavy for the beginning. I noticed just how much stamina we're losing with normal fights. On the flip side though, most of the enemies can't really deal a lot of damage to us, so we're a tank. Just gotta manage that stamina really, really well. Get the well rested bonus. Take food whenever needed. And that's a good start. So, enough rifting for now. Uh, the next location is the Dawn Guard. Just halfway on his way to Riften, Prometheus stumbled upon a patrol. One that was ambushed by bandits. And wolves alike. And so began a wild uh, goose hunt. Everybody was fighting against one another. Too bad for the bandits. They were certainly not strong enough. Well, we can't open that chest. That's unfortunate. And we got robbed of our XP because we did not get any of the kills. However, equally, we got a lot of loot for free, so I am not sad about the situation. Eight, this thing weighs 15, no way. Way uh, too heavy, way too heavy. Okay, let's move on. Shortly after this encounter, of course, things were not looking automatically better. As more bandits appeared. We can't really fight them heads on, but we could use our crossbow. If we run in, we're using way too much stamina. But in a straight up fight, we can get them down. Let's regen some some of our stamina. More arrows are flying. Wasn't expecting to play a paladin. who uses a crossbow as a main weapon. Almost got them.
And that ended both of them. Regenerating some more stamina. Getting some of the bolts back. Good. I think we might be able to enter. Why not? Let's give it a try. Okay, we have been here the last time. And it wasn't all too good, so... Let's pull the enemies this time. Yep. At least a 10 or 15 level higher bandit is here. <clears throat> Trying to let them go a little bit closer. <clears throat> there we go. And it's time to run, run, run. At level 1, where Hermetheus is not strong enough yet, and his stamina management is potentially the biggest problem. So we'll try to pull them down uh, the hill. There are a couple of cliffs that should make it quite easy to hit them. Pretty solid hit in. And I think the bandit just fell to his death. What is happening? Trying to go <clears throat> through his shield arm. There we go. I actually think that the bandit leader fell to his death. This guy seems to be stuck. Careful with the stamina here. We'll give it some time to regenerate. Where's the bandit leader? The hit point bar is empty. Like I heard, I heard a death sound. All I can think of is he might have fallen down the waterfall. All right, come on. This guy is completely stuck. Yeah, bending on that slope is a problem. It costs a lot of stamina. Surprisingly easy fight for Hermetheus. Ah, 
I was definitely expecting more of a fight. Bread, bread. And we're good stamina wise. Now let's take a look what happened to that leader. Did he fall down? Yeah, there we go. He actually fell down all the way. <clears throat> well, sucks to be him, I guess. But apparently he's not the only one who fell down. Good. <clears throat> Let's loot uh, the cave and off we go still on our way to the Dawn Guard. Guess what? We have made our way to the Dawn Guard. Deep in the daylight uh, canyon and we got a couple of items here. At a random find uh, for a necklace of stamina regeneration and I think instead of the amulet of Stendar, I'm going to use that together. It's plus 50%. Still not perfect, but okay, we got ourselves the Dawn Guard shield uh, that we looted here as well as the Dawn Guard war axe against undeads. Uh, there are uh, still a few more uh, to be looted and we got a nice little steel crossbow plus a lot of steel bolts so we should be more than equipped next stop is going to be uh, the area around uh, windhelm because that is where we need to head uh, we're definitely not going to start with the awakening quest that would be suicidal windhelm and just doing the quests in and around them traders post and so on and so forth um, we need to get to Eurostat as well because I started uh, the Mara quest for some extra resistances which we will need as a tank. So plenty for us to do. Let's do one more caveman. We're doing the trader's post. So let's for fast forward to that. And off we go. Let's kite him up this hill. All right, bring it on, buddy. Yeah, power takes is a bad idea. Just don't have the stamina for it. In that case, unfortunately, if he's not opening, we need to trade blows. He was at a slight disadvantage because he had a slashing weapon and heavy armor uh, versus heavy armor. Him a slashing weapon, we have a blunt weapon that uh, will be in our favor. We do have an elven weapon though, which isn't doing a whole lot against heavy armor to begin with. But it is light and fast, so I guess it's okay. Our text cost six percent less, that's great.
unfortunately in our case power tech still costs too much all right let me get to the other uh, bandits okay so we're at the house it's just a matter of getting them one by one i think these two are bandits as well yep one down The other one is taking some hits. And it's down. Trickster is coming. He cast an ice spike. only has a small sword which means he technically can't deal that much damage if we're trading like we have been doing he'll take the short end of the stick three scrolls of summon wolf fantastic that's really helpful now what we want to do is Eat some mountain flowers and see where the boss is at. I guess. Hits for 250 indicate that that guy is a bit stronger. Getting nicely chewed up from behind. Two hits in the front. Unfortunately, a power attack that went through. Good. Warden Warwick's. That's why he was hitting so hard. Completely, uh, complete steel armor and ancient crafted shield. Well, I'm happy that we don't have to deal with that guy anymore. Let me loot uh, the interior. Hey, we handed in all of the quests. I ne still need to do some more uh trading afterwards but for now let's continue with heavy armor training as that is by large and far the biggest problem that we're having 25 is okay for the beginning i suppose we could do a bit more one-handed And get that to 25 next. Go, we're ready to start this. So, I mean, we're still struggling with stamina, but most of it really comes from our inability 
um, to use heavy armor, not so much because we have too little stamina. We're actually okay with our stamina, all things concerned. Um, wondering if we start with Magicka, just so that we do have a nice pool. We want to be able to use that later. And one health is definitely hel uh, helpful. So we're even level 3, which is great. Goes without saying that we want that. And we want that. It's another an interesting perk right there. Comet casting most certainly is an interesting perk. Seems we're perking in heavy armor first uh, before we then go and do one-handed, which I think another 20% here wouldn't hurt, and specifically penetrating strike would be good. So let's just double check how sprinting looks like. Well, it's much better. It's not automatically complete disaster. That's still a bit of a problem. But I can work with that much better. Found to healing all on ourselves. And I definitely need to sell some stuff. Okay, so that's uh, the end of uh, episode number one. Hermetheus uh, certainly has gotten himself to Windhelm. There's plenty more to do in the city and we're going to explore a few quests as well as help the local town folks uh, because that might give us a lead to what is incorrect or not working. And eventually we might be led to uh, to Whiterun where we hear about Bleak Four Barrows, which could be one of the first dungeons. We got a nice one-handed weapon, but uh, and certainly a nice armor, but we need a few more levels under our belt before we go to BFB. Uh, that will be a tough cookie, even with anti-undead uh, options at our disposal. Thank you for watching. If uh, you are a stout follower of Stendar and the Paladin in uh, your heart, give it a thumbs up for all of the Paladins out there. Uh, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.